Ni 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 ena eyi aban no dey sacrifice for for by say holidays ni bi o ayeye fi obi o ma twem ni ne ka ka ho okay na yankwe em say em ura em okuje to ablaka i can be be fa ho na ye ne no nko ko di hun komo ona bo ya da simu akwa baba ni tefem so anope yo mini ami da se ni aboko boko na so e ni ami adom ami adom e ho ya mm so se na na me e bo mu a chee tie for em say me me dey twem mi na nka e ye au day ba ye nim se mpp ba ba me dey sakrai bi ba ye e ma holidays ni bi o ye ye fi onum se bi o di e ba be ka ho so what true bi bi a wo kasa e fa ye sa e u e di ho en samu a wo kan wo mo mo kan kan wo mo hu bi ene sen yo me da se eh ma me chia tie fo nya na me nta mo se se mo frame eh se na wa ma background no eh no crepa se anka and yet, President Akufuado, the bailer or the bar parliament, are your friend of the Public Holidays Amendment Act, Act 989. Ah, uh, or amend the, the public holidays regime. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, for Bekaya, we in the minority, we worked out on a number of grounds. So, uh, it's a clear attempt to revise history and to distort uh, the history of, of Ghana. And the role of Ghana, the role of Kwame Nkrumah in Africa, into the walkie out from from Parliament, into Anka Enyesa amendment, no, uh, the majority side, a party unilaterally, no, Anka and there a holiday, May 25th, uh, AU Day is a holiday. Now, it is important to recall, sir, a, I mean, I, ironically. Mm. A, a uh, president John Ajekunkufo, His Excellency John Ajekunkufo, mm-hmm. uh, uh, leading light of the NPP, the New Patriotic Party, Onona or reintroduce AU Day as a holiday in the year 2002. In the year 2002. Yeah. And it's been celebrated uh, since. And it is ironic, sir. They say, you know, under another NPP leader, uh, the, Afri- the African Union Day is being downgraded. Now, the view of the uh, the minority who follow their uh, contribute during the debate, mm-hmm. and they say, this whole public holiday amendment act, you know, it is clear to us that it's an attack on Osajifu Kwame Nkrumah, what he represents, the role he played, mm. and a uh, uh, towering and uh, iconic figure. You know, that is what this public holiday amendment act sought to attack mm. and i'll give you the reasons number mm. one september 21 ah, a year in kuma birthday no? mm-hmm. was commemorated as founders day they say under this new law no, there is no longer founders day it's just uh it's just a Nkrumah birthday celebration they say the holiday will only represent in birthday under this new law no? Under the public holiday amendment law, a buyer can say August 4 should rather be the Founders' Day, and they roped in so many people. In other words, no, to bring Nkrumah down to the level of everybody else, because they are arguing that they can, that there shouldn't be one founder, <laughs> uh, and it is really, really strange mm. for many, many countries across the world. They have, they have found it. it. It doesn't mean that others did not contribute and others did not help. Mm-hmm. But what it means is that Nipa Bako, image, who called India, Mahatma Gandhi, Tanzania, Julius Nyerere, they are always leaders who, 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 who tower above, who emerge as the, uh, the, the moral leaders, the iconic leaders. And that has been uh, taking away you can okay. see the clear agenda still in under that holiday amendment act you know, republic day ah, yet yeah, the day that Kwame Nkrumah led out to let us to have our full independence, 
so that we were no longer under the crown. We, we had our own laws, our own constitution. That's what it means to assume full Republican status. Uh, we had our own constitution, the 1960 constitution. We we're no longer under the crown. No? And mm-hmm. also no, has been downgraded. Uh, the Republic Day will no longer be a holiday. It will just be uh, a yeah, mere commemoration since it's no longer a holiday. It's the same uh, in the same vein, no? almost the AU Day, uh, also uh, no longer a holiday, just a commemorative day. Now, the argument that has been made, and it's, uh, oh, you know, uh, and uh, majority of countries in Africa don't celebrate AU Day as a holiday. In the, uh, Ghana should also follow suit. When you make that argument, you fail to recognize that Ghana, we occupy a special place. Africa Union vision no? is Nkrumah's vision. Nkrumah Nefar, sir, on the meeting the idea for the first time. Ah, a Ostaji Fu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and or convening the All Africa People's Conference of 1958. Mm-hmm. Ah, he sold the idea to African leaders, the few independent states at the time. And Ube Kaya, uh, some bought into it fully and were willing to go all out with him immediately. So we had the Casablanca block and then the uh, Monrovia block. That is that is the history. In China, by 1963, when Kwame Nkrumah was successful and the OAU was born, 25th May 1963, five years on now, Osage Fu Kwame Nkrumah was invited to be the special guest of honor at the opening in Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. Mm-hmm. Unknown that delivered a keynote address. In China, they say Kraoko Africa Union, Kwame Nkrumah statue in Kwan Ene Woho, standing tall, the bronze statue. And interestingly, that statue was uh, unveiled in 2012, January 2012, by a delegation led by uh, President Mills. President Rollins was there, uh, Honorable Alan Chairman Ting, uh, Madame Chinri Hesi, Special Advisor to President Kufo. Uh, they were all there, including the Nkrumah family. In China, this is the history. Ghana is considered the mother of the Africa youth. In the statement now, I made it to you last Saturday, no, was to draw attention to Ghana's pioneering role in Kumar's vision and how we must all ensure ourselves we protect these legacies. You see, other African countries look up to Ghana when it comes to these things. Mm-hmm. And to argue, say, oh, oh, other countries don't commemorate it as a, as a holiday. And... Uh, uh, the you know, majority of countries are not really making a big deal of the AU and all of that. It's to deny ourselves our rightful place and to abdicate from that leadership role, that inspiration which we give to uh, black people in the diaspora, to all Africans, and even the Europeans who took a leaf from Kwame Nkrumah's vision. And mm. the, the, uh, the point we are making is that mm-hmm. A return of the NDC government will see uh, an amendment to that public holiday amendment act. There are so many things in that act that are a year very offensive to our history. Uh, it distorts our history. And uh, it's a shame, sir. Even within the new patriotic party, it's clear that President Akufuado and President John Ajekun Kufo are, are different sides of history. They don't seem to uh, agree. And uh, we are on the side of President Kufo when it comes to this matter, when it comes to the way. AU must be fully recognized uh, in, in Ghana. In China, Uwe, who has 30 day pass off without any high level commemoration. Who said President Who said uh, there was any, any, any high level uh, commemoration of the day? You see, there is a clear agenda, a certain agenda to, as it were, reduce the, the Stature and the legacy of Osajifu Kwame Nkrumah. Oshe, Nema, Akoso, the renaming are Akoso, even within the education sector, the new uh, history curriculum, uh, you just see clearly that uh, Obi Mpe Osajifu Kwame Nkrumah, and the power now, to me now, yet the man or the to me no a very revised history. But let us remind all, 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 our, all of us there. Uh, it's not the first time. 24 February 1966, mm-hmm. the overthrow of Kwame Nkrumah. It was even abominable 
to be found holding Kwame Nkrumah's picture, the effigy, the books. Indeed, all his books were removed from libraries, Bam Library and others. Books Ninja are coming from much choice. And it was banned. They didn't know that the Europeans had the right and they would they would be, they would they would republish them uh, uh, years thereafter. And t- they, we have done all these things to the man. <laughs> the man uh, and as the saying goes, Nkrumah never died. Mm. Nkrumah Eye and a towering figure across the world. Look, there are many streets in Africa and European countries, named after Kwame Nkrumah. Mm-hmm. He, his contributions to the human race, to uh, uh, the, the dignity and the, the, the liberty of the black man cannot be downplayed. Mm. He, instead of us, the, the Nkrumah brand, you know, your best, your best project, and can you imagine what we can get? The tourism potential, you know, the... They're giving the economic gain that we could we could get. Sure, here yeah, South Africa, a uh, year with the Mandela brand. See what South Africa is doing. Recently, uh, Mandela Centenary. Ooh, yeah, look at how they shook the whole world. Ah, they even got uh, President Obama to come and deliver the keynote address and all of that. Mm-hmm. You see, and then a year, yeah, ah, every opportunity, you know, anything that Nkrumah spearheaded, Nkrumah pioneered, you know, we want to downgrade it. Yeah, per se. Yeah, they buff them. Now, uh, people will not even acknowledge the, the role of Nkrumah and what uh, Nkrumah, and for that matter, Ghana represents in those very significant contributions. You see, uh, yeah, there are seven notices, and we did this during the debate in mm. Parliament, the mm. Public Holidays Amendment Act. Say, yeah, bar. No, uh, Samba Ben Moa. Yes, 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 Samba Ben Moa. Yeah, bar amende sa law, no. Ah, the way our Republic Day is no longer giving its full recognition. The way our Founders Day, you are distorted. Uh, you are changing Founders Day. The way our AU Day uh, no longer uh, giving its full recognition mm-hmm. because, because of the role that Ghana... Ghana is considered the mother of the African Union. Nkrumah is, is, the, is the man who had the vision, who, who put forth this vision. <laughs> uh, we will... We will amend those laws and okay. make sure that the rightful place of Nkrumah and Ghana in these matters no, will be restored. Okay. All right. Watch it, Musa, before I become honorable, Mr.